I am, I am the, the humble, humble seer. seer. Hello, Capricorn, and welcome to your 2024 annual reading. So the first card we're going to pull is what you left back in 2023. What's not coming into 2024 with you. So let's get that card and see what we what we get. Okay, so we have the Knight of Pentacles on what you've left behind in 2023. The Knight of Pentacles is persistence, it's patience, it's hard working, it's slow moving. And what you're leaving behind is the slow moving. Everything kind of moved at a snail's pace, right? It was just slow and steady. Okay, so that's what you're leaving behind. Now we're going to pull a card on your overall for the year. And then we're going to pull a card on each month. Okay, so what's going to be that overall? Oh, okay, that came out. That just dropped and it said, pick me up. And it's three of cups for your overall. Three of Cups is celebrations. It's favorable circumstances. It's marriages. It's, it's just celebrating. Your year of 2024 is going to be about celebrations. Celebrations of everything that you've put into uh, your business, your job, whatever you did. There's nothing but celebrations that will fill the year. And that is... Amazing. Okay, let's get into now the um, 12 months and we're going to start off in January. Okay, so we have the chariot and the chariot is about its drive, its success, its victory, its winning. So you're starting out the year. You're starting out the year winning. <laughs> I mean, you it's like you got into your chariot and you're like, I, I see you just kind of going everywhere in the month of January. And you're, it appears as though you're in a different place. So I feel like in the month of January, you're not going to be at home. Like you have a home, but you're not going to be there. You're going to be somewhere else. And I see it for the month of January. It's somewhere warm and tropical that you're spending an entire month. So it's like your month of January, you will not be home. You, you will be um, driving somewhere. I, I see for the majority of you, you're driving somewhere, but you're going somewhere and you're spending that month there. Now, that's, that's amazing. Okay, let's get, uh, let's get February. Okay, February is the Five of Wands. Now, the Five of Wands is challenges, it's fights, it's disagreements. Now, <laughs> okay, this is, it's not funny, but it kind of is. It's like the people that you work with or that you, um, you deal with on a regular, they're like, no, Capricorn, you can't be right. That's not, no way is that, no it's like that. It's that it's not, it's almost like a friendly kind of, we don't believe. We just don't know Capricorn. You cannot be right. You, you've been right about everything else. It's like people that, you know, tell you that you're not right. That are the same people that told you you weren't right about other things, especially in last year, all along, they were thinking some of them were view, uh, saying it, but others were thinking it. Many more were thinking it. Oh, you can't be right about that. And then you t it turns out you were right. But there's going to be people doing that, pushing back. It's like you're, I'm getting it's your audience. It's the people that follow you or that are with you or it's friends. It's anybody. Because everybody's in a different situation. Some of it will be your YouTube followers or subscribers. They're like, no way. And it's like that. It's like, a, oh, you can't be. No way. It's like that. It's not like you're going to be fighting them. They're just going to be like, man, you're always right, but I don't believe you this time. It's that kind of thing. <laughs> okay. But it's all good. Because remember, you have the three of cups for the year, and that is celebration. So those people still celebrate you no matter what. If it's your friends, if it's your audience, if it's your followers, subscribers, whatever. 
Okay, let's see what March is going to do. Okay, March is the three of wands and three of wands is luck. So it's like, um, like you'll be celebrating all throughout the year. Luck will be on your side. Luck is on your, it's like you have a lucky charm, but the three of wands is, is luck. It's great opportunity. Something comes in. It's like, okay, uh, your audience, your friends, your family, the people around you. It's like other people are hearing about you and you've already grown, but, you, and you think, wow, can it get any better than this? Or it's getting bigger. You know, I can't believe how much I've grown, how many new friends I have. It's like that. It could be new friends. It could be new family that's coming in that you're, you're spending time with or that whatever, whatever it is in your family. Your family could be your 10,000 subscribers, okay? Your family could be your actual family. It could be your subscribers and your family and your blood family, whatever it is. It is very good and positive. And there is luck in all of those relationships. And if you have like a YouTube channel, opportunities are just rolling in because you have proven yourself. And that's with anything. So don't think, oh, you can't be talking about me because I don't have an Instagram channel. It's whatever. Three of Wands rolls in for that month of March and you have luck. It's international too, because that Three of Wands deals with that. It's like, see the water in the ships. It's like, you will have really great relationships with people from other parts of the world, other countries. You will be bringing them in is what I'm getting. They'll be coming into your world, into your life, whether it's your physical world or it's like out in the internet world. Okay, let's get April. Let's see what April wants to tell us. Okay, April is the Hierophant. The Hierophant is about knowledge. It's about learning. It's about knowledge and understanding, okay? Okay. And I feel like in that month of April, you're going to get a lot of downloads. You're just going to get a lot of information. You're very intuitive. Either it's coming in intuitively or it's coming in and you're getting information. But whatever it is, the month is about knowledge and learning and wisdom and teaching and you being a teacher because you are a teacher and you prove that in, in the month in the year of 2023, you proved to be a very good teacher. And there were days that you wanted to give up. And I'm so glad that you didn't. I'm so glad that you hung in there. So that's, you know, again, we have all great cards here on the board, you know, because again, you're celebrating throughout the year. It's celebrations. We'll pull a money card at the end. Okay, so now we're going to go on to, let's see, that was April. So we're going to now talk about May. Okay, so let's do a little shuffling. And we'll pull your May card. I feel like May you're going to be doing some more traveling. You're going, I feel like you're going back to that place that you were at. Okay. Now we have the happy squirrel. See, it's just a beautiful year for you. You have the three of cups, which is celebration. And the happy squirrel is an exclusive card to this deck. And the happy squirrel is, well, they're mysterious. But they have a lot to be happy about. It's like they have the sun and there's the, their coin. It's like an accumulation of wealth an accumulation of abundance, it's wealth, it's knowledge, it's happy times. There's a lot of celebrating in that month. May is a celebratory month. May is filled with a lot of really great times. And I, like I say, I see you traveling, I see you going somewhere. Okay, let's see what June is going to tell us. You're not at your home a lot. You're not, you're not living. It's like you have two places that you live. You're not sleeping at your actual physical home. You are somewhere else. 
It could be at a family's home, but wherever it is, it's warm. Okay, this is June. Okay, now we have the strength card. And the strength card is about bravery. It's about care for others, responsibility. And you're taking a break from everything that you have been doing. Like, I, it, for example, for example, this doesn't mean it's for every. It's an example. You have to fit it into your life. For example, if you, you have a business, well, your business, you, it's really something that you can do things and plan well ahead of time. So you could do uh, all of the work for all of these months in January and you're good. So I see you taking that time off there in June. And you're, you're helping someone. I see you around an elderly person and you're kind of helping them get around because, you know, maybe they're, um, they can't do that right now. They're physically not capable of getting around. They may have just had surgery and they're recouping and they're older. So it's going to take them some time, but they're a spry elderly person. But it seems like in this month they are taking, um, a, a respite, a, a rest. They're resting. Yeah. All right. Let's look at July. Okay. July is the nine of swords. So there's something going on in July that has you in your head as it relates to that elderly person. And you're like, oh my God, can we get through this? Are we going to get the, yes, you're going to get through it just fine, but you're going, there's going to be like a week out of that month that you're going to be in your head and you're going to be worried. And even though I'm telling you now not to be worried, you'll still be worried. It, you'll be very afraid and concerned, but there is no reason. They're going to come out just fine. They come out of it just fine. Don't worry. Okay. So that's your July. All right. Let's see what August has. Let's see what's going on in August. It's a great year for you. Oh, we've got two. I'm going to put those back and I'm going to shuffle some more. I don't want to pull two cards. We want a card. We want a card. All right. That's good. All right. Let's get that card. All right. Let's see. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Okay. August. All right, August is the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups is about the past coming back. And I feel like, okay, this is what I get. A lot of people will be praising you in this year. There's a lot of praise and a lot of shocks, excuse me, and disbeliefs about some of the things that you did last year that are coming into this year and they're just kind of shocking people in the best possible way. In the best possible way. It's almost like, for example, say you said, oh, well, I know so-and-so is going to do this. You were telling people this last year. I know that so-and-so is going to do this in, in um, six months from now. And six months from now is in, in this year of 2024. And people are turning and looking at you and they're like, well, Capricorn, how did you know that? And that is how your notoriety that, that, but that's been happening. But in, in 2024, and especially in, um, did we say this is August, August, it's going to be like right there in your face. All right, let's get, uh, Let's get September. What's going on in September? What's going on in September? You've got the world. And, and what I got when I pulled this is you've got the whole world in your hands in September. September is going to be an interesting month for everybody. It is going to be 
I'm getting groundbreaking, earth shattering in September. There's going to be a lot of things that reverberate throughout the world. But in your small neck of the woods, in your corner of the world, well, you have desirable outcomes. You have results. It's just more of the same. It's more celebrating. It's like you laid the groundwork in 2023 for 2024, for things to start to be unearthed, right? So whatever it is, if it's at your job, you laid the groundwork for a project and now in 2024, throughout the year, it's just like all of the things that you put into place at the work in that project are coming to pass. Whatever it is, it's really culminating in September with the world, the larger world and, and your part of the world in your neck of the woods. It's like you told people, well, this is what I see coming in September of 2024. And boom, you were right. And September of 2024 is, is what I get is you are, you're on the map. You're on the map. You are a household name hands down. You are the go-to person. You're, you just are. You've been that way for a while on a smaller scale, but now it's on a much, it's on a grand scale. And coming into 2024, it's, it's, you know, it's ramping up more and more. It's just like more and more people are listening to you or taking your advice or, you know, take, buying your services because you're good. Word of mouth has reached a crescendo. All right, let's go to October. Okay, you have five of pentacles. What I get is, um, it kind of goes with the world. You are nowhere near five of pentacles. You have amassed wealth. You have created great wealth and yours is just coming in. It's, it's a nonstop. Every month you're just calculating, you know, you're, you're living a comfortable life. But this card goes with the, um, the world card in September because something major shifts in the world at that time. And it causes some people to be in a five of pentacles more so than ever. It, it's tough, but you're smart and you don't blow your money. You know, you save and you have a, you know, you, you're comfortable. You have a comfortable lifestyle. You don't need much. So that's October. And I see people coming around and, and trying to get advice from you about their money, about their finances, about their situation. People are asking because people are suffering and you're providing them with that, um, that hope. Okay, let's get November. Now let's go down here. Justice. Well, that's a beautiful card. November is justice. And I don't see that as legal. I see that as um, a good contract. I see you uh, going into like working with. It's like, say you have a business. This is just an example because it's all, you know, say you have a business and somebody wants to partner with you. Somebody wants to collaborate with you. And it's a good contract is what I get. It's, a, it's good. And it will bring in a lot more money, could double the money in that month, which I see thousands for some, but it's, it's relative, right? Some may be, it may be hundreds. I just see your money doubling in November. It's, it's, a, it's very good. That contract is going to be very good. And I see it going into March of next, of 2025. Okay, let's see what December's looking like. Oh, four of wands. All right, this four of wands, I get you buying a home. The four of wands is about home, new home, joy. I see that as a new home for many of you. I mean, you're able to do that. 
It took some time and you didn't know if you were ever going to get there again, but oh, you're there. <laughs> I see you having enough to buy a home, buy a car and buy and fill your home with furniture. You're moving. That's beautiful. So that's how you end out the year. All right, let's pull a card on. Let's see what your finances are going to look like. Let's see overall finances for 2024. Let's see what the cards want to tell us for your finances for 2024. I know this is an important card for Capricorn because they like their money, but we've already said that you're comfortable. So let's just see. Oh, you're the emperor. Oh, yeah, you are... <laughs> I mean, the emperor is all four kings in one. Okay. The emperor is stable. They, they have rules. They have power. They achieve their goals. You're the emperor in 2024. You have a comfort level. Now, keep in mind that this is, uh, you know, it depends. It's subjective. It just depends on where you are. Some people will have great wealth. Like they'll move into the hundreds of thousands. Some people will move into thousands. It just depends on what you've come out of and where you are in the story. But I still see for Capricorns in general, good money. It's a celebratory year. You came out of persevering and hard work, but you laid the foundation. This was 2023. Remember we pulled this, like what is, uh, what did you leave behind in 2023? And it was the Knight of Pentacles. And we know the Knight of Pentacles is persistent. They're patient. They're hardworking, slow moving, reliable. That's what was happening in 2023. You were slowly moving towards your goals and you achieved them, especially towards the end of the year. But going into 2024, it just ramps up. And you are in the Three of Cups where you're just comfortable and celebrating and things are good. You're happy. You're healthy. It's, it's beautiful. The only thing I don't see in here is a love relationship. Let's pull a card on that because, well, we all want to know. It didn't tell us in the cards, right? So let's see about love. Let's pull a card for the final part of this read for love. Let's see what the cards want to tell us as it relates to love for you, Capricorn, in 2024. Four of Pentacles. Okay, that's Four of Pentacles is about not sharing, holding on tightly. It's financial security, but it's not about love. It's you're so focused and consumed by money because you probably came out of hardship. In 2023, you were just broke. You were probably trying to, you know, you would make a deposit and you were worried that other things would come in and you, your account would be at a negative. That's where you were in 2023. So when you, it's, it's natural, it's understandable for a Capricorn to be most focused on their money. But you have great cards here. And the other cards, really, this is in your mind about an elderly person who comes out of whatever it is. This is other people and how you're trying to work with them to get them where they need to be, you know, because not everybody's going to have the financial freedom that you are in 2024. A lot of people are going to be going downhill more and more, but you're coming up. And then you have the five of wands, but that's about people just in awe of what you say and, and disbelief arguing and fighting like you can't be right. So that's it, Capricorn. It's a beautiful, amazing year. And you deserve it after everything that you went through in 2023. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for stopping by the Humble Seer. Do consider liking, sharing, subscribing. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think about this read. If you like what I do, consider buying me a coffee. And that's in the description box below. Until next time, as always, you take good care and we'll talk soon. Bye.